Okay. Good morning, students. Today we discussed about electrostatics. Electrostatics. This is the first chapter in second PU physics. In the previous year, we discussed about uh, dynamics and uh, statics and uh, kinematics. So, dynamics is a branch of physics deals with the motion of the bodies. Similarly, statics statics deals with the rest bodies. Static deals with the rest bodies. So, in second view physics, electrostatics is the first chapter. Electrostatics, static means body is at the rest. However, in this case, we discuss about the study of charged bodies at rest. Study of charged bodies at the rest. So, electricity, electricity is the branch of physics deals with the study of charged bodies. Study of charged bodies. It is divided into two categories. First one is electrostatics. And the second one is current electricity. Electrostatics is the branch of physics deals with the study of rest bodies, study of charged rest bodies. And similarly, current electricity is the branch of physics deals with the study of charges in motion. So, current electricity is the second chapter. And uh, first one is electrostatics. So in this chapter we discuss uh, electrostatics. We discuss about the electrostatics. That is charge center rest. Charge center rest. So what is meant by charge? What is meant by charge? Charge is the property of matter which produces and uh, experiences electrical and magnetic effects. Electrical and magnetic effect. Charge. What is meant by charge? Charge is the property of matter which produces and experiences electrical and magnetic effects. Magnetic effects. So, initially, Thales, the scientist, 600 years BC, before Christ, 600 BC, the scientist named Thales. Experimentally observed the right? amber, so one of the material rubbed with the wool or fur. Wool or fur. So amber rubbed with wool or fur, amber acquires the some quantity of charge. After that, amber attracted light minor particles uh, uh, like uh, newspaper, piece of paper, and dust particles and uh, light feather. So after rubbing amber, after rubbing with fur or wool, amber attracts small minute particles like minute particles like uh, dust particles or piece of papers and also light uh, feather. So thereafter William Gilbert, William Gilbert studied the systematic phenomena systematic study on this phenomena some more objects also exhibits electrification some more objects rubbed with each other these objects also exhibits attraction properties so what is meant by electrification what is meant by electrification the process of charging a body that is called electrification the process of charging a body is called electrification so William, William Gilbert experimentally shows that there are two kinds of charges in nature. That is, first one is positive charge and second one is negative charge. This is discovered by William Gilbert. So there are two kinds of charges in nature. First one is positive charge and second one is negatively charge. So electrification means the process of charging a body is called electrification. Suppose let us consider a 
two bodies like uh, one body is who another body like a dry egg. so on who let us consider who rubbed with dry egg. after rubbing who attracts like a so after that a and who both are electrified both are electrified so in this case a loses some electrons during the process of rubbing some electrons are transferred from a to who so who acquired who gain some electrons so who having negative charge similarly a loses some electrons so a becomes a positive charge after that who attracts like a so they are attract each other because of their opposite sign so opposite sign that is opposite uh, Uh, charges are attract each other. Light charges are repel each other. Already we know that the, the concept of electricity discussed in previous uh, years, uh, like Einstein and the tenth standard. Okay. So there are two types of charges. There is positive charge and uh, negative charge. Positive charge is discovered by proton, and negative charge is uh, positive charge. Sorry, positive charge. Example of positive charge is proton, and example of negative charge is electron. Example for negative charge is electron. So, proton, one of the minute particle discovered by Rutherford, and electron, another minute particle in nature. This is the very least massive particle in nature. So, electron was discovered by J. J. Thomson. Charge of proton is identically equal to the charge of the electron. Both are equal in magnitude. So, suppose there is such an atom. Each and every atom. Are electrically neutral, so number of protons equal to number of protons. Atoms are electrically neutral in nature. Modern concept of matter. Modern concept of matter. So each every atom consisting number of molecules. Each and every molecule consisting two or more atoms. So this is the one atom. This is an orbit. So the atom consists positively charged nucleus at its center. And electrons revolves in an orbit. Electrons revolves in an electrons revolves around the nucleus in an particular orbit due to electrostatic force between them. Electrostatic force between them. Okay. So in this case, this is the nucleus. Total mass of the atom and total positive charge concentrated in the center. That is called nucleus. That is called the nucleus. Nuclear consists. Nucleus consists protons and neutrons. They are together is called nucleons. Protons and neutrons are called nucleons. Mass of proton is one point six seven two four into ten power of minus twenty seven kilograms. And similarly, mass of neutron is one point six seven four eight into ten power of minus twenty seven kilograms. Both are almost equal masses. However, mass of proton is slightly less than the mass of neutron. Mass of proton is slightly less than the mass of neutron. So, neutron was discovered by James Chadwick in 1932. So, mass of electron is very very low. Is the least massive particle in nature is nothing but electron. That is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kilograms. 9.1 kilogram per minus 31 kilogram. See, mass of electron is very, very, very less than the mass of proton. Of course, mass of less than is identical or less than the mass of neutron. Mass of neutron. So, two bodies rubbed with each other. One body loses some electron. The body becomes positively charged, and one body gains. Some electrons, the body becomes a positively charged. Then after, after rubbing, these two bodies are electrified. Two bodies are electrified. That is called electrification. So what is meant by electrification? Once again, I will repeat. The process of charging a body is called electrification. The process of charging a body is called electrification. Okay, students.